All right, guys, today is, I think it's June the 19th. It's something like that. It's a little past the middle of June. We are doing our first real purposely fishing for bowfin trip. Let's see what we can do. They are spawning right behind us. There's hundreds of them coming up and gulping for air. We are using 30 pound braid with a 50 pound mono leader for the last three feet with dark colored crankbaits for murky water, red, purple, black, and blue. Mine is black and blue, six cents. 50 pound mono leader, 30 pound braid. I'm using a Kuma Ricky Red, medium heavy. We got a dip net, we got a scale, we got a tape measure. And everything in our favor, water levels, everything. So, should be a good morning. We're hoping to get on them. There he is. Net. No, it's we're gonna help each other because if you get one, then I gotta run it over. Oh man. Oh yeah, he's a fighter. Good job, honey. All right, guys. Finally landed a fish. Well, I can't carry both. He's about a little three pounder, two pounder, but I'm happy. I lost my expensive six cents crankbait on the very first throw earlier. Very discouraging. Guys, first bowfin of the day. Little guy, about two and a half, maybe three. It's getting blood all over me. Not a bad first fish though. It's a start. All right, I'm gonna get her back in. I'm coming. Let me get my. Uh oh, we both got one. Oh crap. Okay, mine got off. You lost yours? Okay. All right, guys, Wilma's on one. What we have learned about these bowfin is your hooks, your hook ratio of actually getting it completely out of the water and in your hands is only about 30% chance. Half of them get completely off before you ever get them to the bank. And then the other half, you usually lose them in the process of trying to get them in the net or real close to the bank. Keep... Oh my gosh. Yeah, it is. That's a seven or eight. He'll get tired. Just be patient. Can't rush. All right, guys. She got about a about a six, five or six. <clears throat> On the fire tail, no six cents crawdad crankbait, Missouri crawl looks like. Yeah, 
go ahead and put your gloves on and then I'll take the flip hooks over, off. Flip over, flip over, flip over. There's no point in flipping it over. Now remember, after every two fish, redo your knot and overdo the knot. When you tie your knot on, don't put just one loop. You want to loop it through the fish twice. I mean, through the eye of the crankbait twice. Oh, he's way bigger than I thought. Hold on a minute. He's he's pushing eight pounds, I think. He's about up 27. With a streak. Oh, okay, I hold it. I Stupid it. sticks and damn way. Okay. <laughs> 26, 26 and a half. He's about seven. He's about seven pounds, guys. Not a bad bow fin. I'm gonna say he's about, yeah, he's about six or seven pounds, 26 and a half inches. Not bad. It paid off, guys. We knew he was gonna have a good day before we came. We just had bad luck to start out with. I don't understand it, but a 30 pound braid leader works better than, I mean, straight 30 pound braid is working better than having a 50 pound mono leader at the end. They just cut right through. I don't understand it. It broke off at my knot, though. It's the knot. Not the line itself. Okay. Good job. I'm gonna go get a cigarette. It's already getting hot and humid, isn't it? You're gonna have to come over. I'll wait. I'll wait and make sure, but you probably should. It's looking promising. It's big. It's real big. Oh God. Oh my God. Yeah, it's a big one like yours. Maybe even bigger. Oh, he's bigger than yours. Oh yeah, I think so anyway. It's at least equal. Yeah, I think he's might be a tid bit bigger. Man, he and you can't even see the crankbait. It's another one of them. It's gonna be hard to get the crankbait out. Real hard, I can't even see it. Oh, he's upper 20s. God, I can barely see the bill. I can't. You got to be patient. You got to let them tire a little bit more than you think. <sighs> now maybe, or not. It's a big one, that's why it's taking a little longer. You gotta understand that. Yeah, he's definitely upper 20s. That crankbait is gonna be hard to get out, guys. I can't even see it at all. And then I'm gonna have to definitely retie. I guarantee he nicked my line. He might go 30. Nine inches. He's about a nine pounder. Bait. 29 inches. Not a bad bow. Hold it good. You look like a you can't hold them good. woman. Oh Lord. Better from this side. Jesus. <clears throat> All right, guys, 29 inches, beautiful bowfin. My God, he did, he put up a fight. It took me literally three or four minutes to get him in. Whew. Okay, go ahead, that's right, it. I'm gonna get him back that's in.
Let's hope this time. I don't want to be zero for seven. <laughs> oh, goodness. I think he's staying on. Oh, yeah, he engorged it again. I can't even see the crankbait again. Completely gone. The crankbait is completely unseeable. My goodness. So I get to have fun with that again. Oh, I can see part of it. See the bill, but still. I need to start using single hooks. Chatterbaits or something. All right, guys, a little three pounder. But after just missing six fish in a row, I'm happy to get one. I've literally had six get off. Some of them right away in the first couple seconds, and the, but half of them over. I'd Flip have over. almost all the way to the damn bank. All right, guys, little, you know, 22 incher maybe. It's about two and a half, three okay, pounds. that's enough. I don't want to see that it's bleeding. Nice little bowfin, all right. Put it back and save life. I don't know if I can use that crankbait anymore. I can crank. Huh? All right, we almost got one, guys. It's getting harder to get down here each year. Really hard. Oh my, he ain't even fighting yet. Oh my God, he's 10 pounds. I'm letting him get a little more tired. He didn't even see you yet, that's why he wasn't fighting. I want to be sure. I don't want to mess up. I would have lost it if I would have tried. He'll, he'll get tired. He'll get tired. What a fight, guys. What a fight. Yeah, he did. Oh, my. Goodness gracious. What a horse. Oh, he's big too. He's up, he's 27, 26. So I'm gonna fish from now on. I got a crankbait with just a back hook. After this, I gotta change my battery. <laughs> We've caught, what, three each already? Six. You can do that as long as you don't apply pressure on it. All right, guys, about a 26 incher. It's hot, good if No, because then it's staring at the sun. You need to be behind the sun. Yeah. All right, guys, about a 26 incher, maybe 27. Wow. You guys might have been able to hear that right below us is a tunnel and one of them just jumped giant. All right, we're gonna get this one back in too. That's three apiece. Guys, because of the crankbait, they tend to, it's hard to get them off. I'm gonna attempt, I'm gonna try to uh, just use my front hook only and see if that helps. Is it? Oh yeah, 27 inches, guys. I'm gonna 
change my battery. See, I almost thought about, I was going to take one of these off, take this off of the back one and put it on that one, but I'm just going to try it. I'm going to try a uh, back hook only and see, front hook only and see what happens. That way they don't, can't swallow it as deep. Got one already, first cast. Oh, I got a big one, a really big one, Wilma. Fish of the day. I can't even hardly pull him. Oh my God, this has got to be 12, 13 pounds. I am not kidding you. Look at this. Look at my hand shaking. He is not giving up. This is a giant or he's got sticks tied to him maybe. There's, it feels like there is something else on there. He's got brush on him. Maybe not, this might be a giant. First throw, see the, you gotta take the back hook off. That, that way they're easier, get off. What is this? This almost don't even seem like a bow fin. It's acting like a catfish. I got something different. Look, he hasn't jumped once. I got a flathead or something. I seriously think I do. This is not acting like a bowfin. It's staying down and it's pulling. If it is, it's a giant. I could have a big old flathead, guys. Something ain't right with this. This is not a bowfin. He would have came up and jumped already. He, a bowfin would be running harder, too. This is a big fish. Could be a drum. It's No, it's not a drum, neither. It's staying down. It's a flathead, I think. I don't know. Oh, it's hooked in the fin and the mouth. Is it a bow fin? I don't know for sure yet. No way. I snagged it completely. Well, he's going to get off then any second. So that's why he's not jumping. Well, this is the hardest fighting bowfin I've ever had. I've never fought one this long and not made any progress. This is ridiculous. Well, why did I? Uh -oh. <laughs> now I'm fighting the current too. I seen a tail. Look at the gar. See him? Yeah, I hooked him in the top dorsal fin, guys. And this ain't even that big of a uh, hook. Just blind luck. So he'll he'll probably get off right at the end. All after all the time I wasted. That's why he's fighting so hard then, and he can't he can't jump. It made it too hard for him to jump, and that's why he's never getting tired. <laughs> he's still big though. <laughs> Oh my god, first throw as soon as I come down here. You, need to bring them here. you don't understand how hard it is to fight a fish when you got them hooked in the dorsal fin. They can swim harder because you can't turn their head. You're fight I'm fighting them in the middle of the body, Wilma. You yeah, let's horse him in so we lose it. You are too impatient when it comes to reeling in a fish. That's your problem. It's like fighting a log. And as soon as he knows you're there, he's going to go nuts again, see? He's getting tired. He's getting tired. Or not. Yeah, he's puttering out little by little. No. 
No, get him from the front. Always get a fish from the front. Never do a fish from the back, ever. making it hard. Still don't listen. There you go. All right, guys, foul hooked both in, my first ever. I've never caught one foul hooked. I caught him right in the middle of the body on the dorsal fin. You talk about a fight. I am pouring sweat right now from him. That took a long time. <laughs> Pretty neat though. Pliers. Grats. He's about 25 inches, guys. Mid-20s. Five pounds. Pretty nice one. I've never hooked a bow fin in the dorsal fin like that, right in the center of the body. It was like pulling in a log in current. Very difficult, my hand hurts. That was one hell of a fight. <laughs> you talk about, that thing fought four times harder than a regular one, minus the jumps. But I mean, the pulling was just, Ridiculous. This is a pretty one here, guys. It's just a little two-pounder, but they're more colorful when they're that small. I think he has the spot on his tail, maybe. No. We missed them being green when they're post-spawn. They get the green fins. See how easy he'll be to get off now? I told you. That's the trick. You haven't learned yet? I just told you earlier. Don't ever do them from the back. Ever. Never do a fish from the back, because what can happen? They can swim forward. All right, guys, smallest one of the day, but my theory worked. I can tell this fish will come off 10 times easier than all the other ones I've caught by taking that back hook off the crankbait. Guys, my number five, and she's caught three. We've got eight fish total. It's the smallest one of the day. Just a little. What, five? Yours is five. I've already caught five. It's a little two pounder, about a pound and a half. Cute little <laughs> bowfin though. I don't care about the size. <laughs> if this was a bass, it would be considered big. So. All right, five down. Why you decide to put that there? I don't either. It's where I'm supposed to be getting up at. This one has the spot. Has the spot on its tail. Really hard. Hold him the other side of the fish. It's really bloody there. I'd flip him over. Where you show this side, yeah. It's all blood on that side. Alright guys, nice 
mail bowfin. Got the spot on its tail right there. He's about just to straighten him. You got him like a banana. He's bent like a banana. Move that arm in. There you go. Come to this side. About a little two pounder. Not bad. Staying in the shade. I guess. Or stand there maybe. I can't get the lighting right. I guess that'll work. Move your hands down. No, your fingers down, I mean. Your fingers. Uh, that's uh -uh. enough. Alright, we're gonna get him back, guys. We're in trouble now. We both got fish, guys. I don't know what we'll do. I don't know. They're both about the same size too. I'll I'll try to get mine and walk up the hill with it. It's gonna break my line though. They're both the same. I'll try to grab the bill of the crankbait. That's all I can do. No, mine's only about two. Yours got off? <laughs> Goodness gracious. I picked him up by the bill. Oh, you got it. Mine was bigger, actually. All right, guys, we got doubles. We're at 11 fish. She's got a two pounder and I got a three pounder. See? Mine's a little bulkier, though. A little thicker. My method's working really well. All right, guys, Wilma with another one. That's her fifth. She's got another male. It's got that spot on his tail. The lighting is horrible. It's because the sun's overhead. There's nothing we can do. All right. All right, then I'll have you film me real quick. Go ahead and throw yours in. No, let's just go ahead and put yours back and then get my camera. Why the hell am I doing it? Now he's got a million things stuck to him. God damn! Jeez! Leave me alone! It's about another three. The lighting's horrible no matter what. Okay. Nothing we can do. Okay. I got six, she's got five. We got 11 bowfin, guys. It's just hard to beat that 30 inches. We just can't see them. I think our biggest one today was what, 26 and a half? 27. I 27. got 27. Can't seem to get any of the real giants today, but God. That was a pretty decent one too. There 
he is. Oh yeah, he's nice. Oh, no, he's still on. He spun, it got hung on himself and then it felt like he got off. He's easily six or seven. Four, eight. You need to start coming. Don't cast again. This is a big, though, this is 10 pounds. Get over here. Goodness, you see I got a big one? This ain't no three pounder. This is a 10 pounder, at least nine. Nah, maybe not, he's real thin. It is real long though. He's close to damn near 30 inches. May have the biggest one of the day here, guys. At least the longest one of the day, if he stays on. He inhaled it pretty good, so I'm hoping. Come on. He's definitely the longest. I think he's the longest one of the day. He may not be the fattest, though. He's getting bigger as I, the longer I stare at him, though. Pretty big. Yes. Oh, he's, he's 29 or 30, isn't he? You got the, get the gloves. You left them laying there. They just don't want you to measure them. Go ahead. Twenty-seven and a half. All right, guys. Twenty-seven and a half. not going to be an easy one to get off even with me taking the back hook off this guy inhaled it so bad but it's better to have three hooks to try to get than to get all six like earlier yeah he really wanted that thing my god <sighs> do let me get this out of the way here you can do it like that all right guys 27 and a half inches nice bowfin wow now that's what I came after Yep. What a fight that one was, man. Like I said, these things fight harder than any fish around here, pound for pound. And it's that fin that goes down their entire body. They're like a snake in the water with all muscle. They are tough. Yep. Get him in. Well, dude. That's your biggest. <laughs> Twelve both in, in two hours. That's six fish an hour we're averaging. Oh my God, what do I got? I know, but... He was, he's, this one's fighting harder than the 27 inch, and this guy's only like 20. My gosh, he was trying to go on the bank.
<laughs> it ain't many days guys that I go fishing and, and I'm gonna be ready to get out of here at noon but this is one of them we've caught 13 now the thing is to get these both in you got to wait till the days get 90 degrees and hotter before they really get active about early to mid June before they really take off and uh, we didn't get here as early in the morning as I had hoped for I'd say four pounds it's not a bad one it's not big but not small by any means still swimming yeah all right a little four pounder guys three we really did good today <sighs> We come here on the perfect day, and there's no people, and it's Father's Day. Figured there'd be someone here. Oh my God, it's a big one. Really big. Come help me. It's another 27. Oh. Oh my. Yep, he's. Eh. No, he ain't that big. Yeah, it could be. Oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> this one might be bigger than 27, actually. This might be 29 or 30 inches, Wilma. Oh, he's barely hooked, too. Come on. A nice one here guys oh my waiting on her to get me the net about 26 after looking for a while, he may go 27. It just seems slender, he's just not real wide. All right, oh, goodness gracious. The crankbait already came off. Talk about coming close to losing it. God, oh, yeah, that was a close one. Twenty-seven again. <sighs> She's got one already. Why is this thing not going in? It's rusted out. She's got one. They might be going getting them bullheads, maybe. All right, guys. Our third twenty-seven incher today. We just can't seem to get over that for some reason. But I'm happy with 27. All right. Not bad. Three 27s in one day. Yep. Just can't get that 31 mark. We will one day. Time to get back in. Don't throw. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but I can't get it. Fell off. I tried to grab it by the bill of the crankbait like an idiot and it fell off. Cause I was trying to do it without your help. Now you see what happened. Me too. Oh, I jerked it clear out of his mouth. You still got yours. Okay, I'm coming. 
Hold on. Oh yeah. Oh my god, he jumped four feet up in the freaking air. We're gonna go now after this, okay? I'm going after this. It's too hot. We had we caught 15, that's good. Alright guys. We're about to get out of here in a few minutes. We caught 15 both in today. Get it's over. just it's just too hot in the day. Middle of the day right now. This is a little two pounder, but it's still a nice one. There's nowhere to stand in the shade. I don't think it's gonna help. All right, all right, guys, that ends this trip. We got 15 both in. It's too hot for me to handle this. I gotta get in the car. All right.